Now, in order to create the interior air seal and the exterior weathertight seal, there's many ways to do that. And we'll show you just a few here. The insulation gap can be filled with a PU sprayed in foam. Um, some people prefer to leave it open to, to enhance future drainage of it. Um, if you do use PU foam to use this gap, you definitely should use a tape uh, to create the airtight seal on the inside. The PU foam might initially uh, give you very good air sealing, uh, but over time as the building shifts, we're slightly worried that the air sealing of the PU foam will get less good. So one of these tapes that we use for that is Siga Corbum, which is a, a pre-band tape uh, so you can use it, it's pre-folded type, so you can use it easily. Here we installed a piece of it, so you see how one leg of the type goes onto your rough opening and the other one uh, goes onto the window. If you use a type, just be extremely careful um, how you treat the corners, so that the corners are airtight as well. Another option that we like very well as well um, is using a becker rod and sealant. So the becker rod you size about 25% larger than your gap. And then uh, for the sealant, you should use something that is compatible with the wet flashing you may have used. Uh, Prosoco, whose wet flashing we used here, um, sells a sealant uh, called Air Dam. So you use it over your backer rod. The nice thing about this is that um, you can very easily make very, very good corners. Um, now, if you use a sealant, use a proper tool to, uh, to form the sealant bead uh, so you don't have any issues later on with the trim you're installing. For the outside, you can either use another layer of sealant uh, as long as you leave some drainage holes at the bottom, or you can use uh, a vapor open tape such as Seeger Wiglev on the outside. Another great manufacturer of tapes is Ilbrook with this Intello tape here. This is a tape um, that is fairly easy to form around corners. You install it prior to installing the window. Uh, one end of the tape goes, uh, glues onto the side of the window and then the other end of it um, glues onto your rough opening and it has these, this extending seal here uh, to deal with any movement. These tapes also exist in special versions to directly connect to your stucco finish and to embed in there. The key to really remember is that you want to bring your air seal connection on the inside of the window. So in order to achieve that, a few steps to think through is br first bringing your airtight layer into the rough opening far enough. You see here, just brought in with Prosoco wet flesh far to the inside of the window and then making a connection here either with a cork joint or with a tape. On the outside, you should only have the weatherproof connection but it needs to be vapor open because this inside is where the air sealing is happening and you do not want to create a vapor sandwich.